Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lutra FM, and this is episode 60 of the Rafe Rovers journey. Um, I am here. Baxter is which way? That way. Chilling under my arm. Not the nicest place to be, but he seems to like it. Anyway, um, where you left us off last, we were we are third in the league. Um, the last four games we played. We won 1-0, we drew 0-0, we won 4-1, and we drew 2-2. Um, oh yeah, before I forget, thank you to everyone for the last some more watch hours. Um, sorry to be a complete data nerd, but basically the last um, couple of videos I've done, I've been getting a lot better watch time, so um, watch hours as they call it, which goes a long way into helping me potentially get monetized. So I really appreciate the people that are watching the whole videos because before people were watching it bits, little bits here and there, but they weren't watching the whole videos. So I'm, it, it means a lot to me when I know that people are watching the whole videos because it means that they are into the save. So I really appreciate it. And thank you to the guy who left me a comment on YouTube. Um, let me just get his name up before I forget. I don't want him to, I don't want to feel like I'm being rude. Um, Right, get rid of that. Hold on. Sorry. Yeah, thank you to I am Sam G911. Thank you for that comment. Much appreciated. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, thank you as always. Um, right, let's get cracking. So yeah, so as I said, we're third. Um, we drew two and one two. We didn't have a game for 13 days, so just holidays. So we've got a few inbox items to go through. Uh, I don't think we have anything major. So we signed him as basically as a backup because we're a bit. Oh, he's he's not worked out at all, has he? That was a fatal error. And the fans are not happy. In fact, I'm going to see if I can release him straight away. I don't want him here. Um, Petrovic was in the team of the week. Uh, they're saying make Gary Rui. They keep changing their mind all the time. The amount of times they suggest a new captain and float around the three players all right um we've got a couple of unhappy players by the looks of it who we got gary Rui wants to leave the club let's see if cameron bruce can convince him otherwise i really don't want to get rid of gary Rui. so unless i get an offer for 14 million for him i'm just going to make him play out his contract uh and that'll be that because the likelihood is is he'll he'll just give up after a while and he'll just stay at the club eventually. The only issue is is if we uh, get an offer that that is fourteen million, which is his minimum fee release clause. But if it end, if he ends up going, we still made fourteen million on a youth academy product, which is a good sign that we're bringing through some really good young players. Gary Rui, young player of the month, who. And he was also second place in the October's Player of the Month as well. So that's good. Dedicates the award to me. But yet you want to leave. Um, I was second place in the Manager of the Month. We'll praise you, Mr. Gary Rui. All right, and then we'll do, we'll have a conversation with you. Hold on, let's do this one first. Josh Clark's not happy either when he just signed him. So he wants to go to a bigger club. Um, I can appreciate that your ambition are a bit beyond this minute, but I really don't want you to leave with a new contract. Uh, There you go, that one. So he's happy to leave as long as we get 14 million. So I don't think any club's gonna pay 14 million for him. Ah, oh, Pogba's not happy. Mm, we might not have Pogba much longer. I might start playing him a bit more actually, Pogba. I like Pogba. Uh, he, he played right when we had him here. Longello's not happy. We've got to see. I think we've got a bit of a too, too much of a big squad at the moment. 
I'm trying to get rid of as many as possible, but it's my fault for keep playing, <laughs> keep buying players all the time. Uh, right, call ups. So we've got one, two, three, four in the Scotland under 19s. One, two, three, four in the under 18s for Scotland. Alex Lowry's been called up to the Scotland squad. Uh, Brenda Barr's been called up to the Northern Ireland squad. Shanklin wants to leave, that's fine because you never play, so I'm happy to get rid of you. Reduce the squad. I really do, th I really think. I really am thinking about just doing a youth, mostly youth only now with Rafe Rovers. Just bring through the young players. Um, I don't know. I quite like signing the high profile free transfers that you would never expect to come to Rafe Rovers. Though. I feel like that's what the whole save has been built on actually. So, right, he doesn't want to leave, but we're going to release him anyway, hopefully. Cameron Bruce was unable to convince Rui otherwise. Ah, transfer listed. Oh well. Right. Right. So we got St. Mirren next. There we go. That was a waste of a signing. Can't get rid of him. Why can't we get rid of him? Oh, that's why. I don't know why I, I chucked everything into my wage budget because my. Look at that. If I do that. There you go. 14 million to spend. Happy days. Let's see if I can increase that even more. Imagine if I said, yeah. Uh, let's try performance analysis of the reserves. Scouts. We always could do with more scouts. I'm going to shift some of this into the scout budget. There we go. Right. Yep. Right, let's see how we get on. Sent Mirren next. They blocked it again. Okay, let's just go... Unwanted, sell or release, offer him out, zero. Hopefully we can get rid of him now. Somebody will be stupid enough to go for him, I think. Player's not happy because Longello is not getting any first team football. Right, sorry about that. Um, we had a microphone issue, so I just had to quickly fix that. It just went off randomly. Um, the the microphone I've got, the pins in the microphone are very dodgy. I, I thought it was the USB lead, and I've, I've had about two or three different USB leads, and it's had the same issue, so I think it's to do with the pins with the mic. So for now, I've just got to put up with it until I've got a bit of money, and then I'll just buy another one. This will teach you for buying a second-hand um, Blue Yeti mic from CX, everyone. Don't scrimp it. Don't scrimp on the the cost because this is what happens. You get a dodgy microphone. Anyway, right. You didn't miss anything because I luckily figured it out before we start this game. So um, yeah, sent Mirren away. We got Bryn in goal because Dewhurst is still injured. In fact, because Josh Clark's moaning, I'm gonna put Josh Clark in and see how he gets on. Um, Paul Pogba was moaning, so we're going to give him a bit of game time. Uh, Longello as well, so... Uh, where is Longello? He's not even on the subs bench. Longello, there we go. So we'll do this. Um, defender, defender, striker. Defender, right. There we go. So we'll do that. That. And then... Paul yeah, Deli Alley hasn't played much, so we'll put Deli Alley in there. And then where is Paul Pogba? There we go, right at the end. Paul Pogba, you can play instead of Rios. And then we'll swap Rios with Petrovic for this game. So we'll just give them a game or two every so often just to keep them happy. 
Plus, they're my favourite players. And Deli Ali, obviously, other than Lewis Vaughan, he's, you know, my favourite player at this club since I started this say Paul Bogba. Paul Pogba, can't get my words out today. And Longello's always done well when he's been called upon. So, let's give him a game. Let's see how we get on. I forgot to go through the rest of the lineup, but you pretty much it's pretty much the same usual lineup really. Gary Rui, captain as well. We're now second. Okay, that's good. We we end up going up a position without playing a game. Um Celtic are four points ahead of us and have a game ahead of us, so um I don't like to make try and make predictions because every time I do that on this save we end up not doing very well so we'll just see how we get on Paul Popper looks quite fetching in that yellow kit with his blonde hair there we go good save Clark nice easy catch for him right so let's see 32 minutes in Popper's playing really well by the looks of it 6.9 rating. So, uh, Deli Ali, not so much. Longello, not so much. So, Paul Popper was probably justified in moaning. The other two, not uh, the other one, not so much. Ah. Not good, not good. Luckily, it's fairly early in the game, so we can hopefully come back from this. Oh, Coet says playing rubbish. I need to give him a telling off. Oh, I can't. Right, they got another free kick. God help us. There we go. Header it out. Go on, Popper. There you go. Popper with a good little... He can pick out a decent pass in him. Hoyland. Diaz. Back to Popper. That was a beautiful ball. Ah, oh, lucky. Good ball by Popper, though. Right, we're in possession again. Longello. Diaz to Pogba. Bowler. Pogba again. Um, in fact, if Deli Ali doesn't carry on, if he if he doesn't play well uh, in like by the 60th minute, I'm going to take him off. Put Pogba in his in his role just behind the striker, and then put Rios in centre midfield with Petrovic again. Yeah, Paul Pogba is a standout player in this in this half for us. Right, you need a telling off. You need a telling off. You well not telling off, but like a you know, get your come out your backside and do something. Right, see how we get on. I'll give it another uh, 65th minute, maybe. Okay, right. Here we go. So, Coret says coming off. We'll put Binks in. Longello, you've not played well. Put Bruce on for you. Ali Saleh, you're not playing well. We'll put on Lowry. And then Delhi, you're not playing well. So, we will put on... Uh, what was I going to do? Actually, no, I'll leave Popper in that position because he's playing well in that role. So we'll leave him there just in case. Right, let's try encouraging the players now that we've got left on the pitch. Quiet second half, no highlights. Boulder's not playing well. We'll take him off. Ross Stewart. Right, Ross Stewart's usually rescued us before. Hopefully he can rescue us a point this soon. We are running out of time though. Uh, oh, not good. That'll teach me for picking players that, that are moaning. Pogba's justified, though. Pogba can stay in that role next game. Him and Petrovic in midfield, I think, from now on. Right, we haven't got a game for 13 days, so you know you know the score. I'll, uh, I'll be back in a minute with the next part of the episode. Right, and we're back for the next part of the episode. Um... Just forwarding, just forwarded the 13 days, and we're just going to work our way through these. Uh, unfortunately, Gary Rui 
is in next gen. Oh no, these are the players. Oh, that's right, best players in the world. He's not going to be in this one just yet. Sorry, my bad. Um, he didn't make it in the next gen fifty last year, even though he was tipped to be one of the lead, one of the main ones in there. So that was a bit of a weird one. Ali Saleh, Ali Salih has been called up to the United Emirates squad. United Arab Emirates, sorry. I apologise. Um, no, right. Another player moaning. He is a good player though, to be honest. Maybe I'll have to start rotating the team a bit. Ah, Dewurst is back though. That's good. Bruce injured, a couple of days. Right, Dewis is hopefully going to be back in the team by the looks of it. Uh, hmm. Right, discuss. Oh, no, it's alright. I'll leave him for now. Because he is on the on the cusp of getting in the first team. Maybe what I'll do is I might I might have him and Pogba in midfield in the next game. See how they see how they work out. Give Petrovic a break. Players are not happy. I'm not giving Richie Moran more time. I tell you what though, they are loyal to their each other, but not loyal to me, which is annoying. Every time a player moans, they all gang up on me. Oh, who wants to be a football manager, eh? Right. Um. Yeah, so we'll put Moran in for Petrovic. No, Rios. And then we'll give Popper. Actually, we'll play Popper in that position. We'll leave Petrovic. We'll see how he does in a more advanced attacking position. Right, other than that, so Diaz is in defence with Suter, Rui and Bruce on the fullback sides, Moran and Petrovic, Bolger on the right, Popper in the middle. Ali, Sali, and Hoyland up front. Actually, why is Hoyland playing up front anyway? Um, it should be Ross Stewart, shouldn't it? Hoyland's, Hoyland didn't score last game, so... Hoyland's not doing very well, is he? He's really not doing well at all. Two goals for the whole season so far, and he's played 11 games. Eight in the Premiership. He's uh I think I think I might get rid of him in the summer. If he doesn't start performing better when he comes on, he's out the door. I ain't got time for sentiments in this game. Well I have if you if you're a Delhi Alley or Paul Pogba. Um but not if you're Hoyland. You've not you've not had the careers that Delhi Alley and Paul Pogba's had. So you do not deserve my respect, Hoyland. You have to earn my respect. Oh, we're down to fourth now. Hmm. But if we win this game, we might go back up to second. You never know. But we've got to win this game first. Hearts are not an easy team to beat. Rui. Early cross. Headed out. Bruce now. Gets confused. Oh, Ali Sali with the shot. Ah, here we go. Hearts free kick. I wonder what's going to happen. Oh, I thought that was going to go in then. Uh, for anybody who wants to know an update on Baxter, I won't keep talking about my dog every episode, but basically just to let you know, um, he's settled in a lot more now. He He's had a nice little bonding session with my girlfriend. Cause my girlfriend was getting a bit insecure because the dog always wanted to come to me. And then whenever, she, whenever he, he came to her, he would just basically just like try and nip at her all the time and not really want to didn't like him didn't like her fussing him or anything like that so she got really um self-conscious about it and then when i went when i finally got to go to the gym this week um because my partner was working from home she got to spend a bit of time and initially he was a little bit nippy with her and bitey but um he soon settled down and he fell asleep on her leg and she got some cuddle time so she was very happy and um He's settled in. He goes to sleep. The last two nights, he's pretty much, after about 10 minutes of trying his best to get on the bed, 
he's given up and settled in his little dog bed next to us and he pretty much sleeps until near enough until we get up there is a there is a, there is a time where he wakes up and tries and gets on the bed briefly for about five minutes but i ignore him and then he gives up and goes back to sleep again so he's getting a lot more settled and i've been taking him just just um little walks not too long not too long like a couple of minutes here and there because um he has he's, he's got his final vaccinations on monday so i'm just being extra careful about that so um yeah but he's settling nicely he's enjoying these little brief little walks he's got he had a cute me and my girlfriend went shopping yesterday and we got him a cute little raincoat to keep uh keep him dry um and you know what dogs are like they do not like um put having coats and things on them so it's quite he looks he looked a bit sad bless him but um he's settling in anyway enough of the backstop update let's get a late winner I got, I got a feeling hearts are going to get a late winner here. Oh, I stand corrected. Oh, maybe if I put Popper in centre midfield, there you go, like that, and then what's his best role in that position? Advanced playmaker in it. Advanced playmaker support. There you go. So let's see how he gets on in that role. Maybe he'll do better. Right, our corner there. Can we get a late winner? Man in with a corner. Go straight in the keeper's hands. Frustrates me when that happens. I know it probably happens in real life, but I just, I, it just. What's the point in having that highlight for that? Ah, nil nil. Oh well. Well that's a lesson we learnt. Don't have Popper in an advanced attacking midfield role. Saying that though, the the, the, the role's a shadow striker. He's not he's not a shadow striker. Let's have a look at the tactic. Oh no it isn't, it's an attacking midfielder. So we can play in that role. It's better as an in in ingachi, whatever that is. Right, five days till our next game, so I'll uh, I'll be back in a minute for the next part of the episode. Right, we're back. Let's see what the inboxes say. Uh, Shanklin hopefully leaving us soon. Colin's face not happy. Oh no, his work permit. In fact, I'm just going to release him if I can. Then let him leave. I only bore him back for nostalgia reasons. I knew he was never going to play. Yep, Shanklin's gone. He's gone to FC St. Gallen. That's a nice, interesting uh, switch for him. Mostly, owned, I think he's only ever played in Scotland. So, uh, that'll be nice for him. Nice for him and his family to live in Switzerland. Switzerland's a very nice place. So, yeah. Oh, God. Su Suter's out for six or seven months. Brin's out for six or seven weeks. I don't feel like we need to panic and get another centre defender in, but we'll see. Uh, Tadowski's not happy because he's never played, so I might as well just get rid of him at this point. Just didn't work out for him. Got a lot of potential though, so we could end up playing, being a really good signing for somebody in the long run. But he was just never going to get first team football with us. Right, we'll just release you then. Oh god, Moran's a pain in the bum, isn't he? Right. Dundee next. Yeah, that's fine, we'll accept that. Da, 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 da. Tenth in the league, Dundee, so hopefully we can get a win back here because we are falling down this league now. We're fifth. We're fifth now. We're only three points behind second place Hibs though, but they have, I oh know they haven't, but it is frustrating because there were games we could have won 
Um, but we didn't. But anyway, right. Uh, I'm going to play Popper instead of Rios. I'm going to give Barkley a rare game. And then we'll see how we get on with that. Uh, Stuart up front. Yep, there we go. Right then, we'll do swap these two around. In fact, push him over here. Keep him as a DLP though. And uh, let's see how we get on. With the slight tweak to the tactic. It'll either work out well or it'll work out really badly for us. We will see. Right, first highlight to us, Popper with the pass to Barkley. Barkley across to Rui. One, two, two, there you go, Popper, beautiful ball. Oh, Ali Salia should have done better with that. Popper, that's why he's in the team, he knows how to pick out a pass. We lack creativity at times. Oh, we've gone from fifth to fourth and we haven't even done anything yet. It's nil-nil. So, uh, that's good. If we get a win, we might end up being second. But no, now that we'll probably lose this game now. Oh, there we go. Oh, like clockwork. An un unmerited penalty coming up here. Yeah, come on, Dewurst. You are going to be the hero again here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ah, unlucky Dewurst. Right, 1-0. Our form is dipping really bad. Back down to fifth. Right, come on, Popper. Be the hero. Rui. Oh, Rui, that was a terrible pass. Oh! Oh, that was lucky. That was so lucky. Thank God for that defensive mistake by then. Oh, Barkley's knackered already. Okay. Uh, we'll put... Mm, put Moran in there because Moran's moaning about lack of game time so we'll just put him in there hopefully he'll do well prove you can play uh, in this team Moran yeah Paul Pogba in his familiar role bossing it in midfield Uh, Rui, Pogba and uh, Stewart were the standout players in the team so far in this game. Let's try and demand a bit more from the players. Boulder's not playing well lately. He, he used to be our, one of our standout players. He would always play well in this one. He, oh, what a pass. Oh, look at that. Richie Moran. Hmm. Maybe Moran can play in that role. We'll try and play him a bit more, I think. Right, Ali Sali is knackered. Who are we going to put on for you? Lowry. Or Lawley, Rory, whatever. I don't know. You, I don't know how you pronounce it. Oh, Yano can come on. Rory. Uh, we can't put any more players. Take any more players off, sorry. But we are winning 2-1. If we keep this lead, we're back to second, hopefully. Oh, here we go. Jinxed us again. Right, they've still got possession. Hopefully we can... Hopefully they'll make another mistake. There we go, come on. They're nervous. Oh, no. Oh, we've got it. Okay. Duhurst now, playing out from the back. Petrovic. Oh, Petrovic, what are you doing? Thank God for that. Petrovic, you're going to get a telling off for that. How did his rating go up then? He just made a right cock up. I'll leave it. Go on, Petrovic. Redeem yourself. Oyano. Bowler. Oh, Pogba, unlucky. Should have played Pogba more often. I completely uh, at times I, f I forget he's in the 
in the squad. I just assume the assistant manager would just pick him every time. Right, go on, Pogba, have another go. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> that was a bit, a uh, bit of a comedy mistake there by Pogba. Right, not long left now. Let's see this game out. We are going to be second. Um, Celtic's got two games ahead of us. They are one point ahead of us. So technically, if you want to round it up, they're probably te technically seven points ahead of us. Right. Hold on, I missed something there. Uh, spotted. Dewhurst. A lot of players, a lot of clubs have to do us, rightly so. He won't sign a new contract with us. How long have we got Dewhurst us here for? It's three years, so it's fine. If he ends up leaving on a free transfer, so be it. Again, I'm not selling them unless we get a ridiculously high amount from him because we don't need the money and he is an exceptional player and for us to progress in competitions we need players like him right then um actually i'll just i'll just do it this way i won't go on holiday i'll just do it this way uh yeah and rangers next game so we beat them we are on the right track Add some more offers to Tadowski. None, none of them two with a profit of his next transfer though. So, and Rangers are after him. So I don't know if that's a good, a bad thing for us. Maybe we're um, not rating him very well. But he wants to leave. He wants to leave. I don't like. It don't matter how talented you are. If you're not happy and you're not playing, there's no point keeping you. Just ruins the morale of the team. There, let's see how we get on against Rangers. Uh, Rangers are playing now in the in the. There we go. We'll get rid of Goldson. Oh, we're down to fifth now. So Rangers must have won. Uh, we went from second to fifth. Celtic are not uh, top though. But yeah, we're, there's, only, there's there's only three points separating the first and fifth. So uh, that's how tight it is at the, at the Scottish Premiership at the moment. Hopefully, if we beat Rangers, we get back up there. But as you know, Rangers and Celtic are the top two teams in Scotland, so it won't be easy. Right, we've had a few offers for Barkley. I think probably best to get rid of him. He didn't exactly improve. He, was, he got knackered after half half an hour in that game. Uh, do we look to get rid of you? Hasn't really worked out for you. Uh, maybe it's too early to think about getting rid of him. Mm, we'll see. If we get an offer for him that, that basically gets us our money back, I'll probably accept it. Oh, we've had an offer from Nice in France. I nearly accidentally uh, clicked yes to that to attend the interview. Right, nearly coming up to game time here. Oh, a few, a few players out of contract soon. Uh, we won't bother with him because he's not good enough and he's old. We will we will go for Mal Rocky though. Because he was a very key player for us before. Uh Maliki Boateng probably could do with mm, he does want to come. Uh Frankie Kent. I'll give you a scout report. Oh no, wait, you're not. You're too old. Too old and probably not good enough. Right, let's get through these. Uh, we've had a few offers for Tadalski. They're very low offers, but they come with a percentage. So I'd rather accept them than the other ones. Right. Marie continues to do well in training. Will you sign a new contract? 
No, he won't. Has he played for Scotland yet? He hasn't played for Scotland national team yet. He was in one of he was in one of the Scotland uh, squads in the game at some point this season, I think. Right, there we go. Um, oh yeah, so we want Richie Moran in for where is Richie Moran? Where are you? Uh, is he injured? Is he playing in midfield? Ah, oh, that's why he's playing midfield. Right, I'll put you there. We'll swap bar for bar, uh, bar for Pogba. And then Stuart, actually I'm going to try Gelhart there, give him a game. Uh, I'm going to give Rui a rest of this game as well, put a Yana on. Oh, just moved my leg, sorry. Um, right, I think that's pretty much it then, let's see how we get on. Bit of a slow game style, no highlights so far. Hmm, could this go the whole first half with no highlights at all? It's happened before where I've had a whole game with no highlights, so that was that was very rare. Right. Nil nil, no highlights so far. Let's try encouraging the players. Rangers look like the more dominant team though by the looks of it. Alright, let's try and demand a bit more. We've got a lot of knackered players here. Alright, bowler. Uh we'll put him on. That's the dog, by the way. If you can hear that, that's the dog. He is. Um Snoring his head off. Go on, Pogba. Make a contribution before you come off. Go on. If anyone's going to get us a, an assist, it's going to be Pogba. Petrovic now. Bowler, oh bowler, oh, oh there you go, we got a penalty, is Pogba going to take it though, oh no, we haven't got a penalty just yet. Usually what happens when he goes all the way over there, it's a penalty. Ah, oh, oh, that's a shame, it's usually a guarantee it's a penalty. Right, I just need to swap a few of these players about, put Devlin back over here. Uh, Lowry can come on for Moran over that side, I mean. Uh, swap them two around. There we go. Everyone's happy. So. Right, Gellhart's not impressed. Put Ross Stewart on. Ross Stewart to the rescue now. You watch. Ali Salah, Salier. Uh... We'll put, we'll put Hoyland on there. We'll just move him into the middle in a minute. Oh, no. That come out of nowhere, that did. Even though when you look at it, Rangers do look like the more dominant team. Ah. Right. Swap them to about. Come on, Ross Stewart. There's more pressure on you now to get us in, back into the game. Uh, that's just every time we go one step forward, we go two steps back. We're now four points behind second place. 
Yeah. Maybe we're just doomed to be like a top five club for the football. This whole career is probably just going to be me just getting top four, top five finish every season. Right then, on that note, I'm going to call it an end to this episode and I'll be back tomorrow with the next one. Thanks, uh, as always, for following and supporting and enjoy the rest of your day. All the best.